What's up divas and what's up divos? It's your girl April. So today's video is another Ally Express review hair tutorial review whatever you want to call it um the hair that i'm actually rocking is also from ally express um i wore this uh, quite a few times and made this like a long time ago so i will be honest and say that some of them vendors on ally express are really really worth it you just gotta pick through the bunch and find the ones that are really really worth it so this one here it came to me dhl and it's i like this one um because it has their name on the packaging so when i get it i don't have to be who sent this to me oh my god where did this come from searching through my emails trying to find out what vendor sent this unfortunately the box went through some real tragic shit but i'm still able to see that this is by sexy sexy human hair store and i like express so yes 100% human virgin hair and it does say on the box that you can make a review in three minutes about sexy human hair or sexy human hair and you can receive a $10 award via PayPal. This one here is sexy and I say sexy because it's S-E-X-A-Y sexy hair store sent me their 100% human virgin Malaysian body wave hair. So I have two 20 inches, two 18 inches, and a 14 inch closure. The closure is more or less like a medium brown texture, which of course you girls know is too dark for my complexion, but concealer will always help. Now the knots are very thin, meaning you can see right through this closure, which I always do. I put it to the light and I can see how the knots look just like doing this. So if they're pregnant, meaning the knots are swollen, then you know it's going to be some work. But as for the hair, I'm going to say, just like this, it's a little dry to me. Um, it doesn't look really lustrous and shiny. It looks a little dry and maybe it just needs some washing. So we'll see after I've created the unit. But it just seems a little dry. The ends are thick. They're full, which is great. Um, they don't look shabby. They don't even look like they need to be trimmed. It just seems a little dry. But the actual closure is a really good closure. So this is 14 inches. For the hair, now the hair is thick. It's not thin and shabby. The ends are not thin and shabby. The bearding is okay. Um, I've seen better and trust and believe I've seen a million times worse bearding where you, you have to work with it. But the hair just seems a little dry as well. It doesn't smell like anything at all. And when I say it doesn't smell, there's no smell at all to it. It looks like it's in its natural state, meaning it doesn't look like it was tampered with. Normally you can tell because you'll see like to me, I've noticed where the strands are really like this brightish color red and it's just really dark so it looks to me as if it was tampered but this one in particular doesn't now as for the wefts they are double weft wefted tracks the way they sewed these is really well because sometimes if you ever notice that you get a track and they're really thick their stitching is so thick so when you want to do the fold over method it's so stiff and it's so hard because I don't cut my tracks I do the fold over method and I make sure to tack down those ends really well because I've noticed like when I receive wigs from customers who've gotten a wig made from somewhere else and that person has done the fold over method their fold over it's kind of bumpy so the wig is not laying flat with me I have my own technique to where I make sure and, and always these tracks lay flat once they're folded over it's a little extra work but you know what in the long end in the long end the long run your hair is laying flat so I like and I prefer the tracks to be thinner especially because of the sewing and the way that they actually sew these tracks are really excellent um, as for the stitching on them the stitching looks very neat and it's good if you can't really tell it's double wefted just off the back like that but like I said, it needs a little luster, so, and it may appear to you on camera as lustrous, shiny, but as I'm holding it, it just feels a little dry. It just looks a little dry. But other than that, it's fine. Um, so all of them are exactly the same. They look the same. There's two 18s and there's two 20s. Now with this one, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do different because... I've been creating wigs and doing reviews for quite some time with this wefting hair and I try to do different stuff because I don't like to come back and show you guys something that looks just similar to another project that I've already done or with the same style you just made the wig you've got 10 others that look exactly the same to me that's just like okay girlfriend 
let's try something different this time around so i can't really tell you what i'm going to do in advance but i will show you if i decide to color it or do anything different so on that note let's continue on with this video and i'll post sexayhair.com for you girls below all right ladies so all done styling creating this unit um i did decide to add a little splash of color in the front area just with some bleach and developer um and basically some toner i always use weller toner so this bleach that i used the developer was actually the uh Prisim lights but i did use a cream developer in a 30 and I just left it on for like 30 minutes. Now, I did put the combs like I normally do. Along with that, the combs in the back on a mesh spandex dome cap. Now, I will tell you one thing. Once I washed this hair, there was a lot of shedding. Like, a lot of shedding. Um, and I will post a picture in the video for you girls to see. But there was a lot of shedding. Once I styled and combed it, it did shed a little bit more. Um, a little bit more than normal for me. Um, it had nothing to do with the way I was brushing the conditioner through it. It was just, as I was touching it, the hair was shedding. I didn't seal the wefts, but I know that's not the issue because I don't seal my wefts and a lot of my wigs, they do not shed. So this one did shed a lot. It was a little dry, so I did have to deep condition it, but it came out really pretty. It is virgin, of course, because it lifted super fast and like i said i put a splash of color in it just a little piece on this side and a little bit here i kind of was inspired by k michelle's um hairstyle she had a couple of splashes of color in hers so i decided to do the same thing and just some loose curls i already went ahead and put the concealer in it on it so that way i could have a realistic looking scalp so now it's time to put this baby on we're gonna see what she looked like Okay, ladies, so here it is. Um, simple, easy steps to make this. Um, all I did to color this portion of the hair was I just sectioned it out, put some rubber bands where I did not want the bleach to go, and just went ahead and brushed it on and kind of smoothed it in with my fingers. Like I said, I didn't want a lot of it, just a little bit of splash of color as I seen on K. Michelle's hair, same exact way, so I decided to do it like this. Really pretty, and like I said, the hair was dry and it did shed, but after I did what I had to do to her, she came out super soft. She stopped shedding finally, um, just a little bit as I was styling her, but other than that, it's okay. It's okay. Um, so yeah. Um, now I will be honest to say this is not one of my favorite AliExpress vendors, um, but their hair is decent and it's very affordable. There isn't any highlights in the back area just plain dark is still in its virgin hair state so it is virgin it just shed a little bit and it was a little bit dry for me but after i did what i had to do it came out really really pretty so it is long i didn't cut anything off of it except for the actual um bang portion which i did a slanted kind of like swoop bang so that way if i wanted to swoop it over or put it onto the other side i can i didn't really want to take too much off of the actual unit so i will post all the information for you girls below and if you want a custom closure wig or a u-part wig creator you can always send me an email or you can check out my website going with the wind wigs .com. as well as that is there also are in stock units and video units when they are available as they do sell out quick but if you see something on a website and you're interested in it and if it says sold out you can always shoot me an email and i'll be more than happy to assist you with that so i hope Hope you enjoyed the video and as always stay diva and divalicious make sure you rate comment subscribe and i'll see you ladies in my next video